the bananas. Got something. On the kitty rod. No, we, we, she can eat this blue. We can eat this blue runner. We're gonna eat this thing. You can eat this, right? Huh? You ever eaten one of these before? Yeah, just, just keep everything. So I'm you're gonna, gonna you're gonna teach us how to cook a blue runner, right? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna bleed it though. Yeah, ask Matt for the knife. <laughs> so this is not the greatest meat ever, but whatever you bleed can kind of taste okay-ish. So until we actually find a bonito, which is actually really good. Well, we'll do what we have. Who would have thought a bonito would be so hard to catch? There we go. Oh man. Hooked up, hooked up. Fishing it on our black to bitch kids rods. Ooh. All right, another blue runner. Here you go, Valentine. Oh, get him, get him. Those are good eating. Those are good eating. Those are good eating. She got him. Those are good eating. We got an omelet. I'm gonna throw this blue runner away. It sucks. Good job, Valentine. Those are good eating. That one we'll keep. Got him. Yes. Yes. Amoco Jack, guys. Little guy, but super tasty. Here you go, Valentine. This is a good one right here. Wanna nice. You want to bleed him, right? Oh yeah. Just try to bleed them straight away because the blood coagulates pretty quickly. And you really want as much blood out as possible to make sure that it doesn't pain the meat. That's a bonita. That's a bonita. You got one? Got something good. Not not a blue runner. All right, Valentine, I think I got I got your preferred fish to eat on here. Oh, it's a bonita. It's a bonita. It's a bonito? It's a bonita. Right. How excited are you right now? I'm super excited. We've worked too hard for this fish. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Look at Our that dinner's delicious in your hands. beauty. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> All right, you got to show us how you prepare or how you believe these things. <laughs> so Valentine said Bonita is excellent eating. It is excellent. I've never had, I've never had the, the motivation to try one before. So she's going to show us right now how to bleed them and how to prepare them. What <laughs> would you give Bonita out of 10? Probably a good six, seven. Six, seven? Yeah, I probably, it, it tastes very similar to black bean. Okay, I've I heard say. that before. I've never attempted it. What about you, Matt? Have you attempted it? Look, look at Matt's face. Look at, look at my boat! <laughs> look at my boat! I didn't agree to this. The thing with Bonito is that it has a lot of bloodline and the blood is pretty, it's, it's, it's super strong tasting, so that's why most people don't like it. It's also very oily, but if it's prepared right and bled right, which seems to be done right now, it tastes absolutely fantastic. I promise you. More blood. You sound like Carl now. You know, from someone who's a commercial fisherman whose boat is full of scales and blood. Yes! On the kid rod, yes! Way to go, Valentine. She's got a bonita. Don't worry, Matt, we got more blood coming your way, buddy. No. I don't even have my scrub brush with me. This is crazy. Pull, pull okay, left, fine. Valentine, Valentine, pull the left, pull the left, pull the left. Well, real is kind of fun. This time I'm gonna gaff him, Matt, so we don't get your boat all bloody, all right, buddy? Oh, he's going on there. Make sure, make sure the line doesn't know. I'm gonna gaff him, bro, so we get blood everywhere. Don't. Oh no! It's not easy reeling him in on that rod, man. That rod, that's amazing. Why are you going to the boat? Real? Real? Pull up, pull up, pull up. I'm dying! There he is. Oh man. Right on the meat. No blood. Uh, two, 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 two spots of blood right here, Matt. All right, Matt, show us how to bleed it again, bro. So you stick your finger in the membrane in the side here. It's really soft. And then right here is where their, their main artery is. And I just popped it right there. But once you do that, that's the main artery that bleeds them out. And he's done. That's so blood. Today we're testing out our new Kids Rods prototypes made of solid carbon, basically an unbreakable rod. These should be on the store soon. Got a lot of different colors available. Like I said, it's for kids and they'll have a lot of fun with them. We got two Bonitas, we got, I don't know, like three Amacos, a Blue Runner. We're gonna see if Valentine is the real deal when it comes to cooking, guys. She claims that she can make a Bonita taste unbelievable. She even told me she eats them raw. Let's head to the filet table, start cleaning. In the cooler, we got some Bonitas, we got Amaco Jacks, and we have a Blue Runner. I've eaten Amoco Jacks before, I've never even attempted to eat a Blue Runner, and I've definitely not attempted to eat a Bonita. But Valentine here says that Bonita is delicious, tastes like tuna, and she also says Blue Runner is good as well. We're gonna see how good of a chef she really is. Are you ready for the challenge? I'm very ready. The Bonita challenge? <laughs> I'm ready to change your life. I, I'm looking forward to it. Actually, filleting is my favorite part. Really? Yeah. I like handling like fish because, first of all, they're beautiful. And also just because, I don't know, it's, it's, it's good because then I can pick exactly what I eat and how I prepare it. And a lot you of eat people, everything, right? You eat the head, the throat. I eat the head, I eat everything. Actually, the head and the colors are probably the best part of the fish. 
If you give me a fillet or a head, I'd probably take the head. All right. So you can already starting to see how beautiful and red this meat is. I, you know what? It does look a lot lighter than it does when I use it for shark bait. We got eggs. Do you eat the eggs too? I do. No, you I'm, don't. I'm going to spare you the eggs for today. Yeah, I'm not eating no eggs. You can make a beautiful pasta with it. You can pasta? also cure them at a board target. There's a lot of things you can do with them. Super conscious about not, not wasting any meat. Tell me that this doesn't look good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know, <laughs> I mean, I've just used so many of the bait. I just, I wouldn't even dream of. Mm. It looks pretty good, right? You know what? I'm, we're, we're, we're gonna do the head. We're gonna do this. This is the part that doesn't taste good. This is what is putting people off when you're actually eating bonito. But if you look right under it, it's beautiful pink tuna flesh, actually. It's actually much more pink than a lot of other tuna species. Okay, I'm gonna do both sides first. So you want to take that dark very meat. dark bloodline out because this ta actually tastes really, really awful. It does look, look, look like black then. It does. Yeah. I am actually convinced that if I brought you sushi and I would tell you this yellow fin, it may not make the difference. Really? I have used thousands of bonita heads for bait, but never, and I don't know how many years I've been fishing since I was three years old, have I ever looked at a bonita head and gone, yeah, let's eat that. <laughs> The heads are very good to eat. The problem is that they are a lot of work because you have to basically rip off the gills, rip off everything, and it's just, you know, it's much easy, easier to throw them away, but it is. You don't like wasting things. I don't like wasting stuff. I just, I just don't. But also, okay. fish is a lot like meat. Fish is very similar to meat in the sense that Everything that the closest to the bone that is, the juicier and the tastier is going to be. So that's yeah. why it's worth all of this hassle that we're doing right now. Well, thanks for doing it. Really appreciate it. No worries. You just fold it open like that? Yeah. So you don't mind washing it off with fresh water? I don't. You want to avoid using fresh water when you're preserving a fish, but when you're just going to cook it right now, yeah. it, it doesn't make much difference to me. Okay. I mean, there's different schools of taught them this one. There's even people who think that you couldn't even, that you should never rinse a fish, even with salt water. The chef who actually think that, but. What is it? This is, I've never in my life ever attempted this, but honest opinion, what's better, this or this? I prefer this. Really? Because, and you know, people say that the cheeks are the best part. Yeah. But I'm not true. The best part is actually the head here. Really? So all of this bit, you see it's soft all the way until here. Yeah. And all this is just amazing, super tender meat. So like, and like also, what would a grouper head taste like? Like a 40 oh pound A million head. times better. The groupers yeah. are like the best ones. They're grouper so head? good. Oh, they're so good. They're do you favorite. make fish head soup too? I do. Wh but then I want to eat the meat so badly because it's so good. <laughs> really? I mean, I do that often as an appetizer. So if you're going fishing and let's say you have even like four or five fish heads, you can you can feed so many people. So you just do this, you clean them inside, you make sure you take the gills out, you make sure you take the guts out, you kind of like squish them a little bit, and you put them in the oven or the barbecue on a trigger or anything like that. And then you have your guests literally just pick at it with their fingers. You can do a little dipping sauce, you can just eat it like that. It's the greatest thing ever. To season it is very easy. All I do is you flip it over and you put Whatever spice that you prefer. I like to use paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic. You can put paprika, you can put pretty much anything. I like to keep it pretty simple. This is just cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna put a bit of salt and then you just seal it with a bit of olive oil. There you go. And then don't be scared to get all nice and dirty with it. Just make sure to massage it all around it inside and outside. Don't forget the top of the head because like I said, that's the best part. And it is ready to go in the oven. And I promise you, this will be the first day of the rest of your life. We're gonna throw this in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes until it's all the way through, but you also wanna make sure you don't overcook it because it's just gonna ruin everything by doing that.
So this is the cooking trash fish edition. Trash fish catch and cook. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna push my luck here, and not only I'm gonna cook bonito, but I'm also gonna leave the inside raw. Really? You heard me. I was not supposed to hear me. I'm gonna cook, yeah, I'm gonna cook those ones to start. And then when you're begging me for more after, no. then I'm gonna cook the rest. I'm gonna make a little creamy sauce on the side. I'm gonna make with avocado, lime juice, and cilantro. So I like to use edamames also. I need just kind of. Hi, Valentine. Yes. I got all your meat ready here. I got, this is the Amoco Jack. This is your blue runner. You go crazy and show me what you got. You guys may not know this, but Davis is quite the fish eater and he will try like every, fish. he will try every fish once. So it's gonna be raw in the middle. Oh yeah. You know, I'm gonna let you and Davis be the guinea pigs and then I will still be hesitant, but I, I, I have to try it. It's really important to leave the middle completely raw. So when I give it this like melt in your mouth type of taste that uh, is awesome, even with the bananas. <laughs> Yuri is ready to go. It smells interesting. Oh. So you really want to make sure that it's still nice and raw in the middle like this. Just for you guys to munch on it. This is an appetizer? We have a lot of fish. I like to do a lot of different dishes and you just munch the entire night. I think it makes it more fun. Done? Oh yeah, it looks nice and done. So which one do you want to try first? You want to try the tataki first or the head first? Well, the good news is that I have Davis here. So if Davis, okay. Davis is going to be the, the, he's the, he's the, he's the, the front line guy. You know? Okay. Yeah, I'm the guy who tries everything. So yeah. You know what? I'm go we're going to start with the head. Okay. okay. Sounds good to me. So I'm going quick? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome? It's amazing. No. Hold on. Wait, it's hold on. Amazing. Davis tries first. Okay. No BS. You never need a head. right there. Looks really nice, huh? Look at her. Look at her staring at you. She's she knows. super excited about <laughs> I'm this. I'm so excited. Okay, go for it, Davis. Right. Wow. Nuh-uh. Mm -hmm. What would you give it out of 10? That is a, it's a seven out of ten. Really? I'll try it. Good. I'll try it. Let bottom. me give you a better. Let me give you a better, a better piece. Give me the best piece. Super hot. Get it. She gotta take out the bones. It is really. I can't believe it actually. Come try this, David. Mm -hmm. try it this it does taste like dark meat of the chicken. Look at that. It look does look like dark meat. You're right. Yeah. That piece wasn't as good as the other piece I just tried. Oh, really? This no. one is the fattier, and if you wait, go wait, wait. here, what about, it was what, fattier. What about, what about this this piece up here? Oh, you can try the head, This too. is the best piece? The head is really awesome. Really? I you love the head. Pork for that? You can pick with your finger, whatever. So I, I mean, know. I'm pressuring in my serving. It's actually pretty, it's actually Okay, it's <laughs> now something. try the raw bonita. Ooh, the raw bonita. This is, this is a tuna tataki, just using a bonito. Bonita. Okay. Yeah, bonita, false Thank albacore. You. Frickin' great. You like it? All right. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a shot. Josh, are you get one after me? You should... I'm gonna have Preston try it. With, uh, uh, there's gotta be multiple people trying this. It's good. <laughs> no, no. It is good. Is it? Yeah. I'd give that a seven, seven and a half. Hey. Bonita. Yeah, that's pretty great. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, jeez. Wow. Now, now I gotta you have to try it. start eating our own bait. All right. I mean, we got to put so much guac no, on don't. there. You don't. You don't have dip it, to. Dip it in the sweet sauce, too. I don't like raw fish. Here we go. Oh, you're going to love this. Gosh, I'm scared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
What? Yes, no, maybe so. I would say it tastes very similar to the yellowfin in Colombia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good, yeah. guys. Don't ever believe anyone telling you it's not good. This is uh, this is life changing right here. Davis, Davis gonna eat all my bait now. We got problems. This is either a tragedy or a or a major discovery. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I, I think our bonita populations are about to go down the hill. I get asked pretty often what's the best way to cook fish, and honestly, you want to go as simple as you can when you cook that. So I like to use just whatever spices that you like. I'm a big fan of everything that's smoked paprika, garlic, uh, cayenne pepper, or even cumin. And then you just coat your fish, fry in a pan, and then that's it, that's all. You also can add a little bit of lemon. That's garlic powder? That's garlic powder. Paprika. And then a little bit of smoked paprika. Cayenne pepper. I don't use a lot of spices that have a lot of salt in it, just because I like to coat everything. Because it's gonna give you a lot of flavor, which not a lot of work. This is a bit of cumin because why the hell not? Whatever you put on it, however you decide to cook it, however you decide to eat it after, if you want some lemon or just like that with nothing around, just do not overcook the fish. How do you know it's not overcooked? You fry in a pan, wherever you do it, you put a fork in it and you just want the meat to start separating. And the second it falls apart, you take it out and you start eating it. It's just, that's the number one rule. And if there's one rule to follow, it's that one. That moment when it's passing from not being ready to being ready, this is what you do not want to miss. No, we, we know I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the. That's the blue runner. The blue runner. Which, one, which one's better? I change your mind. Blue runner's better. And you change mine. Right, you think blue runner's good? Blue runner's good. Blue runner's good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Hey, this is blue runner. This is blue runner. runner. Okay, I just had. What's this one? Mm, I just, guys, I just need a piece of blue runner. That's all. Oh, my color blue runner is this one. It's yeah, good. I'll, I'll give the blue runner a try. It's very good. Try it. Ooh, it feels really nice. I'm impressed. You, and I'm French, so it doesn't out. happen often. That's blue runner, bro. Think about that for a second. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, that's crazy. We're discovering so many new things today. We're Tonight was a life-changing event. We literally ate the fish I used for bait that I would never thought in a million years would I would ever put in my mouth and we did it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You made a bait fish, a trash fish taste great. <laughs> Thank Making you Making trash fish great again. Valentine <laughs> Thomas, guys, go follow her on Instagram. She's amazing. And also we're thinking about bringing her on as a personality. So if you guys like this video, let us know in the comments, should she come on and cook a lot more for Black Tip H, maybe even live cooking shows. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you also check out our Black Tip H Platinum Club, guys. It's a place we made for all our fans. Exclusive content, lots of tip videos. You don't want to miss it. Club.blacktipage.com or click the link in the description. If you want to see our most recent video, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.